carry. Princeton at the Lafayette 30-yard line. Foot hands the ball off to Elias, who takes it right up the middle, breaks another tackle, a third tackle. He's going to go all the way. Elias is in the end zone. Touchdown, Princeton. He should have been stopped at the 15. He should have been stopped at the 10. But Elias was determined, and he goes in for a touchdown. Penetrating the line of scrimmage, and by doing that, they're creating a, a lot of problems for those backs to make a cut. As you look at Keith Elias, who's up on his feet, and that's a, that's a positive sign. I think it's going to be very hard to keep him out of the game today. Right, foot. Still has it. Now he pitches left. And a hole for Elias on the left team yard line. And foot pitches right to Elias. He's got a hole. He's in. Signals. Gives to the second back throw on the pitch right. Elias. He weaves his way outside. Winger is in tight on the right. The toss to the near side. Here comes Elias over the second down and 10 for Princeton. And it's own 37-yard line. Toss to the right side. Elias getting free. Shaking a tackler. And Elias is close to the 45. Eye formation. Men to either side of the line of scrimmage. And it's Elias breaking through. 30, 25, 20. He's going to go in for a touchdown. Keith Elias has brought the Tigers back with the touchdown run. Once again, Dan ball right away. Watch the split in the lines. It's just the ISO play with the fullback Bailey leading him up inside. He blocks the linebacker, and with those moves and with that power and determination, we'll see how that left ankle holds up. Here's Elias. Turns the corner. And Bison in an up position. They'll pitch it to the left side. Elias tries to short. Peter Bailey. Second and 14 foot. Straight drop. Throws the screen to Elias. And Elias gets in the midfield. Pounces off one tackle. Here is the dive to the fullback. Foot gets the ball on the corner right away, which gives him a chance to make the cut. Good block out there by number 45. That's Colin Nance. He plays a tight end. And elect get There's the handoff to Keith. Stays on his feet and drives down to the six. A tight end right, two receivers left, but run the ball. Elias, looking rather unsure of himself, picks a hole now and finds it. Started right, cut it back. Or part of it, and didn't play in the Holy Cross game. Pitch left to Elias, starts left, cuts it back, almost lost yardage. Kevin Hill had him at the eight-yard line. First down in the Tigers in Eli's territory. Pitch left on first down. Elias skirts left side, follows his blocking, and then finally... Elias tries the right side. First down and more for Keith Elias as he get, makes the recovery. Here's the pitch to Elias. Keith Elias across the 20, still in his... They'll pitch to Elias. What a block by Bailey and Elias. Tom McInerney, a quarterback, handing off to Keith Elias. And Elias gets into the... Aiding McInerney in that 11-yard game. They'll run behind the left side again, and it's Elias. After Princeton opens up in a double tight end formation. And here's Elias. And Keith, Keith Elias with the first up the middle. Elias down to the 25-yard line. Michael Turner. The jersey's ripped. Everything's skipped up. Here's the pitch to Elias. Keith cuts it outside. Turns the corner. And is brought down by Prince. Pitch goes again to Elias. He'll go through the middle. He'll break free there, and he'll get in the open. And he's going to go all the way. Touchdown for Keith Elias. Two. Hand it off to Elias. First down and more. Keith Elias. No, until he gets hit today. Here's Keith Elias now, Bob, as we take a look at him. This was the scene this morning as he goes through his pre-game ritual, walking the field, you know, uh, getting himself metal music ready. Blaring, yep. He is an intense young man. He's a colorful young man. He said he, it's part of his, uh, his pre-game set. And now on fourth and goal with the ball on the two-yard line will they go to Elias who has four carries 
high swinger. He's a little toss. He's going to take it out here. He sees the opening, and there's the block by the fullback, 36. That's Bailey, and he just breaks it back inside. Full line, but they'd rather punch it in here on second down. Elias. Elias left side, leaps two tackles for the touchdown. Tefalero to the left. Here's the draw to who else? Elias. And Elias stays on his feet. Hand off. Elias stays on his feet. What balance as he picks up a ball player. Here's the handoff to Elias. And Elias kickoff return. First and 10 for Princeton from the 25. Pitch goes to Elias, who faked Elias. in the middle, now goes around the end. And he'll carry. Joel Foote will pitch to Elias, will take it to the, so to the side, now tries to cut back, and he'll break it to about there. First and 10 from the 27, a draw play to Elias, who takes it through the middle. He busts one tackle. Now back, and boy, is he tough. He gets the pitch, goes to the right side, has a hole across the... Cross comes in motion to the left side. Pitch back right to Elias. He's got some room along the right sideline, hurdles over a tackler, and gets close to another first down. Foote. Gives to Elias again, and he squirms forward, has a hole. High formation behind Joel Foote. Two men wide to the left, tight end to the right. Toss to the near side, and here's Elias to the 10, to the 15, sheds another tackle. Line. Tuffalero out wide to the right. The option, here comes Elias to the center strike. 45-40. <laughs> makes it out to the 45-yard line. That's where he recovered his own fumble as it bounced right back to him as he was being tackled to the ground. The handoff this time to Elias. Looking to go off the middle, but now he breaks out the left side, breaks the tackle, and now he's out to the corner, and he gets... Elias right. comes back in the game. Now in wing formation is Chad Roger. Goes wide, rolls out to the right. He hits Elias. Elias breaks the tackle and gets forward to about the wide left as, Her as Roger fakes the handoff to Elias. Elias has a nice little block, and now comes back to Elias on the screen pass. He's got a man out in front of him. He's got room. He makes a beautiful move at the 23-yard line, forward to the 15 and not that... Third and 10 for the Tigers. Play action pass. Foot now wants to set up a screen. Looks left, throws right. Ball is completed to Elias. I mean, a touchdown saving tackle. On first down, the give is to Keith Elias. He steps out of a tackler at the three. Then Flashy and he's funny and uh, he's a comic and, and, and people see a lighter side of him. But he's a very intense, a very focused, a very determined tough football player on the field. And two from the 43-yard line. And they hand off to Keith Elias. He busts across the 40. Stays on his feet. Breaks the tackle. And Elias run down. No, breaks the tackle of Maurice Saw for the touchdown. This was the scene three hours before game time as Keith Elias practiced his pre-game ritual. Wearing a Slayer t-shirt with heavy metal music blaring, the NCAA's leading rusher struck a very un -Ivy like pose as the Elias legend continues to grow in Tigertown. As you talk about NCAA record-setting running back Keith Elias, who is just doing it on the ground all season long. He's the exception. Keith Elias, when he was in high school at Lacey Township here in New Jersey, was recruited by every major school. In the end, he chose Princeton because he wanted to do both football, but his education was very vital to him. It was a big decision, something kids don't do today. And what he's doing is he's really setting record after record. He's an outstanding football player. And before this season is over, they'll probably call him a great. Midway through practice, screaming and howling, he's been cleared to play. And now he's clearing out against Harvard as he drags tacklers down to the six-yard line. Keith Elias, 66. Here from the eye on first and 15. Elias with room. Keith Elias still on his feet. Lowers the shoulder on Ellis, does it again, and gets down to the 10-yard line. Keith Elias was... Back Elias back in the ball game. And here is Elias, behind a wall of blocking on the left-hand side, very close to it. Diagrammed it and filled it well. Elias, again, his eighth rush. This time, he'll get down close to a first down. Here's Elias. Elias across the 10. Still on his feet. Touchdown, Keith Elias. He runs 
comes up inside. He's got a scene. He gets turned around. He gets hit twice right there. Keeps his balance. And right now, he smells the end zone. Flyer scored his third touchdown of the game, giving the Tigers a 25-14 lead. Jeff Hope. Delay goes to Elias, he'll take it through the middle and he'll pick up about six, he breaks free! He's got one guy to beat, he's going to the left-hand side of the end zone, he cannot get away from that last tackle, he does though, and he will score! Keith Elias is to the top of the screen. Here's Elias, Keith Elias down to the 35, breaks the tackle, out to the 45, on the nine yard line before George Neos wrote him his first touchdown catch of the season. In the backfield, it's Elias. Time is going to be an option right. A pitch to Keith Elias. He smashes into the secondary. It's past the 30. As we said, it was just a matter of time. You know he's going to he's going to make up on the team. And one thing about Keith that I really uh, respect and I really like is the fact that the kid doesn't like to lose. He does not like to be tackled. And as a defensive player, he's the kind of He's the kind of running back that uh, I found challenging, but <clears throat> didn't really like to play against that often. <laughs> the guard and the tackle pull around, lead him up, and that's the play right there. Watch that. Now he goes to work. Get out of my way, please, Mr. Offensive Lineman. And he cuts back, breaks two tackles there, runs through Santos. You'll see him. Here's the handoff to Elias. Real estate to his right, cuts it inside. Down to the 25 sideline, into the short side of the field as he runs behind his fullback. There's the block by the fullback who leads him through, gives him enough of a gap. He just breaks the tackle on number three, Lazane, the free safety, and he's finally knocked out of bounds. And the, I hear a whistle in the stands, but the play continues, and so does Elias down to the... That's going to call, go again. Inside, he follows the fullback, but there's the balance as he jumps over that block, gets by number uh, Andy Berlin, the linebacker, and that's what you got to be worried about with Elias. You can stop him, you can stop him, but he's got great visibility and mobility and balance, and that's it. Gibbs, but credit Steve Tuffalero as well with a big block at the foot. Keith Elias rips off. Lafayette fought back in the fourth quarter only to see Keith Elias break tackles on his way to a record-breaking 69-yard touchdown John as the Tigers held on for a 38-35 victory today. Wide side of the field following Bailey the blocker on the corner. Watch him here as he slips the tackle right here of number 16. Jason Fell being the first one, 16 being Holobets the cornerback. Big throw. Hand off, Elias. Midfield and more. Keith Elias leaps one tackler. Keith Elias with Holovets to beat down the right side. Touchdown, Princeton. Just like that, 50. As he said, this kid just can do it all, and he brings everybody with him. And this time, it was oh, what John Lyons wanted from the Dartmouth side. Quick score by Princeton. Get the score. Keith Elias is set up Princeton. Tries to close out an undefeated season at home for the first time. Close out an undefeated season at home for the first time. Said close out an undefeated season at home for the first time. Here on the Princeton campus, the junior All-America candidate stands out both on and off the field, as I found out earlier this week. Ivy-like outfit. Elias, the Warriors, strolls the battlefield. You know, first and 20 as the Tigers are in a hole. They'll run the draw to Elias in a lot of real estate. Elias leaps Jason Fell, still on his feet. Back to the original line of scrimmage before George Neos made the play for Dartmouth. Big play to run a draw play like that to Elias and pick up 10 yards. Big play. <laughs> Here's Elias across the line of scrimmage. Down to the 43-yard line, Phillips makes... He's got to stay with their game plan, even though they're trailing by a touchdown. There's to the left with Lurch. Hand off Elias, back to the short side of the field. Keith makes one tackler miss and picks up a first down for instance. That was Elias at his best. He's uncanny in how he can turn. Watch him here get the football, looks for the opening, cuts it back. There's the first hit, gets back on balance. Now he generates, lowers himself, gives him only a shoulder pad, and makes that extra yardage. 
He got him. He's away from him. Triple receivers to the right. And it's put on the straight drop to Elias. And Keith fights his way across the line of scrimmage. Down to the 30, fighting to the 28-yard line. Jerry LaMontagne wrestled Elias down. They thought they had him in the backfield. Well, the ball. They catch this. Watch this. There's the ball. He goes right down to catch it. Keeps his balance. Does not let his knee hit the ground. Avoids two tacklers and just goes on before 75. LaMontagne comes across, holding onto the ankle and brings him down. But on this drive, go to his bread and butter, getting the ball into the hands of the Lurch on a reverse and Tuffalero, his first reception of the day. Now Elias spinning down to the 21-yard line. Another first down for Princeton. Great little rest and get him out of this ball game. Good move. Two great senior, senior running back Hamilton. And they'll pitch to Elias. Trying to turn the corner. Cuts it back inside. Elias, touchdown, Princeton! Great individual effort. Sure, he's getting blocks up front, his offensive line. This is 18th touchdown. There's the toss running behind number 36. Bailey, the fullback, getting a block by 84 on the corner. That's by Swinger. But here's the play. Look at that effort as he reaches out, refuses to put his knee on the ground until he breaks the plane. Look at it from behind the defense. Good blocking up front. Good job of the offensive line all the way down to give him a chance to get a crease, and that's all he needs. There's the second effort as he rolls over McGeehan. Remember the counter play off the eye, and he comes back. He breaks a the tackle there. He comes up. He runs through the tackle on number 32 for Harvard right there, and he just lowers himself and carries everybody with him. And this is where it is, right outside the five-yard line. Because a guy like this is hit so many times. There's the cut. He cuts back to the inside. Now he sees the opening on the outside. Watch him break it back to the outside here. Beats the block, beats the tackle of number 46, McClellan, the linebacker. Keeps on his feet. The balance now. He sees all these white jerseys, and he's going to take them all on. And look at him lower on these people. Talk to me a little bit about Keith Elias. Well, uh, I mean, what, what can you say about the kid? He's great. There's no question about it. And, he's, uh, I mean, he's doing it in my case he's doing in a year and a half what took me three right but i think what's so great about keith elias is his determination right if you watch him run he just does not believe he can be tackled and back into the sideline into the short side of the field as he runs behind his fullback there's the block by the fullback who leads him through gives him enough of a gap he just breaks the tackle on number three lazane the free safety and he's finally knocked out of bounds and the ball up by two touchdowns this is a draw play there's the seam there's the and he just goes forward, look at him, drive forward, they bring him down. It's just sheer effort. He runs up inside, he's got a seat, he gets turned around, he gets hit twice right there, keeps his balance, and right now, he smells the end zone. The guards are uncovered, give them a chance to get up on the linebackers. From a few times, they got Berlin and Goodwillie, good job by Ian Lombard, the center, and he had... The, the moment. Watch his leg work as they pull this. This is a little counter trade play they run, pulling the garden tackle around. Now watch, he's hit here, but those legs are going all the time, and he breaks tackles into the open field. Taking the ball on the uh, counter play, he breaks it up inside. Good blocking up front by the left side of his line, and now he cuts it back. Watch this. Sprints here at number 16. Once again, Mike Holobitz in a and a track beat right here, and he's not going to catch Elias. Determination all the way. Great effort. Big score. this week. When you think about Princeton, you think about ivy-covered halls, about an academic institution with a strong reputation. You think about tradition. What you don't think about is a running back like Keith Elias, who's breaking all the Ivy League stereotypes and the rushing records as well. With heavy metal music blaring in a very un-Ivy-like outfit, 
Elias, the warrior, strolls the battlefield each morning before a home game at Palmer Stadium. And that's me, and that's, that's to some people, that might be a little distracting. I mean, they've never seen anything like that. But I just enjoy it. I enjoy going out before the game. I mean, the day game is, is such an awesome experience. There's only 10 of them and only five of them at home. And so I, I like to walk on the field before the game. I like to get a sense of the tradition and the coming battle that's about to ensue. And, and walking on the field before that, I mean, that gives me a sense of, like, the past and a sense about what, what's going to happen today. And it really, it really pumps me up. It really sets my mind focused for the game. So that's one of the little rituals that I just I couldn't play without. Princeton won a recruiting battle against several Division I full scholarship football programs to land the Lacey Township running back. And Coach Steve Toshes had himself a program maker. Sure, he's emotional, and at times he's flashy, and he's funny, and he, uh, he's a comic, and, and, and people see a lighter side of him. But he's a very intense, a very focused, a very determined, tough football player on the field. And he refuses to be tackled. He refuses... To, to have anything taken away from him. And, and, and that really is a catalyst to some of the personality that I think our team has right now. Keith is all about winning, and he's rewriting the Tiger record book. He set Princeton's single season rushing record against Yale, amassing 1,368 yards for just nine games. Earlier, he broke Homer Smith's 1952 single game rushing record with a 299 yard effort against Lafayette. When you broke Homer Smith's rushing record for a single game. You said, Homer Smith, he may as well be Homer Simpson. I think that was the line of the year. <laughs> well, because uh, well, I didn't know who had the record or anything about Mr. Smith. And, and when I went for the interviews after the game, they were like, oh, did you ever hear Homer Smith? And I, I never heard of him. I was like, so I just said, no, I, I heard of Homer Simpson, no. But I was, you know, I was in a good mood, and I didn't mean any disrespect, definitely. And, uh, but I guess it ended up being a funny quote because I'm, that just shows you I don't read the, the record books. The junior history major does find time to read some mature comic books. I mean, he's like just the quintessential hero figure. He's the man. And Elias is a man all about music, be it Slayer, Metallica. He compares his running style to a song by Tesla. It's called Coming At You Live, which is definitely, you know, kind of like a little battle cry. You do come at defenders. Right, coming at them live, you know. You're not, you're not holding anything back. Elias chose Princeton to get an education that will prepare him for what happens after football, a football career that may include the NFL. And yes, there was his ultimate goal. I just wanted to win, you know, an Ivy League title. And, and, if, and if you work hard on every play, and if, the, if you, you're so goal-orientated towards winning, then you play your hardest and, and the chips will fall where they will and you end up having a successful season. each player but there's only one left in the career yardage that's Garrett but talk to me about Keith well uh, I mean what can you say about the kid he's great there's no question about it and uh, slowly climbing he's doing it in leaps and bounds also not unlike Superman I mean that's that's where the kid is playing he's uh, I mean he's doing it in my case he's doing it in a year and a half which took me three right but I think what's so great about Keith Elias is his determination right if you watch him run he just does not believe he can be tackled and because of that he makes things happen that normally don't happen right. and the effect spills over to the team he raises the level of the whole team that's his greatness he brings the whole team up to a higher level I agree I think the common denominator among people that know football when they watch a guy like Keith Elias is they say number one is toughness for a running back is exemplary and number two he raises the value of the whole team oh absolutely absolutely and you just listen to him i mean after every game no matter how great he played right. ask him what happened my line my coaches That's my right. family my god this that's kid right. is a great team player. and he's had a lot of fun this year his line is known as the beast the beast that's right <laughs> and his fullback and tight end are mad because they're not part of the offensive line so what are they he must have been a miami dolphins fan because they're now the killer bees the, yeah it's really fun they, they, they're all having fun with it and that's what's important they're having fun that's enjoying right. it and just playing great ball do you remember having as much fun back when in 1964 yeah it Princeton entered the 1992 campaign brimming with confidence. A year ago, Princeton exceeded all expectations, posting an 8-2 record for the young team.
This season, the more experienced Tigers were on a mission to reclaim the Ivy League title. In his first five years, head coach Steve Toshis and his staff had restored the Tiger football program to a level of consistency and excellence not witnessed at Princeton since the mid-1960s. Under Toshis' guidance, the Tigers ranked first in the Ivy League in total victories. Like everyone else who watched the Tigers, Toshis knew that this 1992 team had the potential for greatness. And as the season unfolded, his high hopes and expectations came true. In each of the past three years, the winner of the Princeton-Cornell game has been in the hunt for the Ivy League championship. Steve Tupelero's touchdown tied the game at seven, and the two Ivy League heavyweights went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Jim Renna's fumble recovery set the stage for Peter Bailey. And the Tigers took a 16-7 lead. Cornell closed to within three, but in his first varsity start, quarterback Joel Foote led the Tigers to the decisive score when he found Michael Lurch. Tiger defense withstood a fourth quarter rally to preserve the season opening victory. After trailing Lafayette 14 0 in their home opener, the Tigers scored two touchdowns in a 10 second span. Keith Elias bounced off defenders for the third straight Tiger touchdown. On this afternoon, Elias would score four touchdowns on his way to a record-breaking 299-yard rushing performance. Lehigh, the Tigers unleashed a barrage of weapons. 
This 75-yard explosion vaulted Michael Lertz to the top of Princeton's all-time kickoff return yardage list. Eric Hamilton's touchdown gave the Tigers a 14-point lead. The day belonged to Elias and the offensive line, nicknamed the Beast. Elias fought his way to a total of 572 yards in consecutive games, setting an NCAA record. The Tigers returned home to Palmer Stadium for an Ivy League battle with Brown. The offense continued to show its strength but now it was time for the defense to flex its muscle. The defense forced three turnovers, set up this score, and held Brown under 100 yards rushing. Eric Hamilton stung Holy Cross on Princeton's first play, and the defense came out swarming. And Gene DeMorat paced the staunch Tiger defense. Despite Hamilton's effort, the Tigers lost for the first time in five games. Five straight Ivy League opponents stood between Princeton and an Ivy title. And with arch rival Harvard in town, emotions were running high. Michael Lurch was inserted as a punt returner for the first time in his collegiate career. And the results were convincing. 14-0 Princeton.
Harvard's backfield was a meeting place for Jim Renna, Gene Demorat, Reggie Harris, Michael Lurch, and Matt McInerney. Princeton registered a season-high nine sacks and yielded just six yards rushing. Princeton showcased its stifling, hard-hitting defense at Columbia, holding the Lions to zero yards rushing, and the Tigers' balanced offense controlled the game. scored three touchdowns and helped head coach Steve Toshis become the fourth winningest coach in Princeton history in only his sixth season. <music> Heading into week number eight, the Tigers were atop the Ivy League standings with a perfect 4-0 record. Second place Pennsylvania had its sights on a share of the Tigers' top spot. Trailing 6-3 late in the second quarter, Captain Aaron Harris ignited the Tigers to a 17-6 halftime lead. Clinging to a six-point lead with 15 seconds remaining, Princeton sacked Penn's dreams of an Ivy title. The Tigers invaded the Yale Bowl for the nation's second longest rivalry. A victory would give Princeton the Big Three championship and at least a share of the Ivy League title.
Despite a dominating effort, the Tigers only led 6-0 at the half. But a 23-point outburst in the third quarter buried the Bulldogs. Princeton rolled up 565 yards of offense, while Yale managed just 125. On this run, Keith Elias broke Princeton's single season rushing record. For the second consecutive year, the Princeton-Dartmouth game would determine the Ivy League title. Princeton had an unblemished league mark, while Dartmouth's only loss was to Cornell. Elias' record 17th touchdown tied the game at 14 early in the third quarter. And Palmer Stadium was rocking. Elias again answered the Dartmouth score, pulling the Tigers within one. But it wasn't enough. Princeton finished with an 8-2 record and a 6-1 Ivy League mark en route to a share of its second Ivy title in the past four years. It truly was a team effort that propelled the 1992 Tigers to such heights. There were several players whose individual performance made everyone around them play to a higher level. Senior tackle Chris Tice anchored the offensive line, the Beast, and helped pave the way for the Tigers' rushing attack. At season's end, Tice earned All-League and All-East honors. Junior defensive tackle Reggie Harris finished as the team's third leading tackler with 89 stops, including seven sacks. Senior captain and linebacker Aaron Harris led the team for the second straight season with 123 tackles. He was a two-time All-Ivy League selection. Senior all-purpose threat Michael Lurch finished third in career receiving with 1,715 yards and fourth in career receptions with 99. He also is the Tigers' all-time kickoff return leader with 1,379 yards. Lurch earned All-Ivy and All-East honors for two consecutive seasons. Junior running back Keith Elias led the nation in rushing with 1,575 yards and was a consensus All-American. He established a slew of national and Princeton records, including yards and touchdowns in a season. 
As co-captains for the 1993 season, Keith Elias and Reggie Harris will provide the leadership as Princeton seeks its third Ivy Championship in five years.